It's Sunday morning and the start of a new week and we're almost to 2019. We just finished filming our Zany Laney January collection video, which should be up before this one's up, so make sure you look for it. Um, we also did a video about a new subscription box unboxing, which you guys should see too. Um, today is a fun day because we are going to go use our Massage Envy gift certificates in like a, in a couple hours and then after that we do not know what we're doing we do not know go ahead possibly mary poppins possibly come back home and work um uh, but we we've gotten a very far on february's artwork already and it's not even january yet um so hopefully you know if we do come back and work i can get us to the point where i'm like halfway done with that stuff and just be over with. A lot of stuff that was on my list is done, which is really fun. Um, we had next month's one-off scent is, was like super fast. And if you look above me, we've already done a lot of the work, actually pretty much all of the work, for the new Hark artwork, uh, which was submitted by somebody else but I went ahead and I did all of the, the drawings of all the characters this was actually lots of fun um, drawing well, the art was suggested by somebody but we created the scent itself mm -hmm. and the name and then had a contest to see mm -hmm. who wanted to help us with the scent or the yeah. art yep yes um, so this this is actually a really cute artwork um, and I haven't had a lot of occasion to draw um, like Peanuts characters. Schultz has a particular style that is a little hidden. Uh, there's little ways you do certain lines, but I, I finally got to go back and do comic strip art again, which is how I kind of got started doing artwork in the first place. Very cool. Well, yeah, that's our plan for today. We'll see what happens. I've started playing Lego Incredibles, and I really like it. It's a lot of fun, but I want to play it more now. <laughs> also, Mary and Jack. How are you guys doing? It's Sunday afternoon. Um, so far today, we have filmed videos. We have, um, I've read a little bit of my book and had lunch. Um, we went for our massage. Then we went to, we walked around Michael's a little bit. Then we went to Whole Foods and uh, got some stuff there. Then we got some dinner while well, we picked up some food at Witch Witch and came back here and now we're playing Lego Incredibles um, until we eat dinner. And then at dinner, after dinner, we're gonna go see Mary Poppins. We already got our tickets. So this is shaping up to be a very fun um, Sunday. We couldn't show you a lot of what we were doing because obviously when we got our massage, we couldn't show that. But And then I forgot to take out the phone during Whole Foods, but it is what it is, so. Yeah, that is what we are doing and it is having a, having a good time. Well, we are finally home after seeing Mary Poppins Returns and it was everything that I wanted it to be. It was so good. Like, it was so good. I know that there are some people out there who love the original and are kind of like meh, but it was like watching a classic Disney movie again. It was so good. And the way they threw back to the original was amazing. So it is now very close to 11. I need to go to bed because I have to work tomorrow. Although I think I'm only working a shorter day. I won't know until 12, 2 o'clock. Depends on when they let me go. So we'll see how late I work tomorrow. Because it's New Year's Eve. Good morning. It's Monday. December 31st. We've made it to the end of 2018. I can hardly believe it, actually. Um, I do have to go into work today. Um, I'm hoping it's only for half a day, though, because it being kind of a holiday. Um, so then I will probably get off early. The boys don't get off until... I think Marshall gets off around... Actually, I think they both get off at, like, 7. So I'm going to come home and... Uh, edit some videos, get some things done before they get off. Um, we don't really have any plans for tonight that I know of, but I could be wrong. 
I'm not sure what's happening actually. Um, today I just wanted to use a really simple look on my face. So I'm using the ColourPop Semi Precious and I'm using this shade here called Up and Atom. You can see that say up and atom this one right here um, just blend it all over my lid and then on my lips I'm using bear with me that's the dose of colors lip gloss and I love this the formula is fantastic so that is what kind of is happening today I'm really praying that today goes by quickly and that we get out early because I'm still tired, like this morning my alarm went off and it went off for like five minutes before I realized that it was going off. Um, I can also say that I'm using my new tripod and I kind of hate it. I hate the angle it's at, I, it needs to be up here. So I need to find something that I can prop it up on that it will actually work higher um, since it's my new tripod. Or I might just have to get use the big one that we have on the desk and then this one is the vlogging one so yep it is monday evening i did not get out as early as i thought i was gonna leave at 4 30 but they ended up not letting us go until four um, I really thought it was going to be between 12 and 2, but they didn't let us go till 4, which is fine because I got some stuff done and that's great, but I didn't get everything done that I needed to get done here. So right now I'm trying to get as much done in the next couple hours as I can um, because the boys are supposed to get off at 7. Marshall might get out earlier than 7, and if he does, he's going to pick up Corey. And then I'm going to order some Chinese food for us as a little celebratory dinner. My shirt that I'm wearing right now, because I didn't show this morning, looks like this. And I think it pretty much sums up 2018. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just basically going to work on some stuff I need to do, edit some videos, um, random little things, and... Then I just want to sack on the couch and read my book because I'm still reading A Day in December. That was the book of the month club book. I'm still reading that. Um, so I'm not very far in it and I want to finish it. I'm not going to. But anyway, I'm not going to finish it before 2018. Anyway, that is what I'm doing. <laughs> so um, I did. I did want to tell you, though, like some of the things like I just ordered today. I wasn't going to get more makeup. I wasn't gonna. Um, but I've actually been cleaning out my stuff and then I decided that I wasn't going to continue with the Storybook Cosmetics palettes anymore because I I like the formula but I just don't find myself reaching for them very much. Plus I've been really into, and this will probably change in a couple months, but I've been really into like laying down a base color and then putting like a shimmer on my eye and just having it be like that for work because for work I never want to do like big eye right so I was watching some of like the best of videos and I saw that the Viseart Petite Pro 2 palette which I've had my eye on is only $24 right now so I just bought the bullet and got it at Sephora um, and then I do have an Ulta gift card that my friend Autumn got me and I'm still trying to figure out what I want. Unfortunately, all the things I want are not in Ulta right now. I don't know. Um, so I, I have to get some more mascara because the ones I've been using I'm just not liking. I mean, my favorite is the Lash Princess, obviously. I have been really liking the Maybelline Lash Sensational and I play it with the It Cosmetics. So this and the Pacifica is my favorite, and the Pacifica is that telescoping one, but Flower also has a telescoping one, and I do want to try that one. And plus, I need a new one for my under eye because I used to use this... Oh, hi. <laughs> That's my cat. Um, I used to use the Wet n Wild one. I haven't gotten it in a while, so I need to reorder it. Other than that, I'm not really sure what I'm getting from Ulta. I have to look through my list, but anyway... 
I will keep you posted later because I'll probably get on here and vlog when we get closer to the end of today. Um, thank God we're all off tomorrow. That's all I gotta say. So I had to show off because I got struck in the mood and I needed to clean out my makeup before 2019. So basically here, this is all of my blush and bronzers. I only have two bronzers that I use as contouring and that's it and everything else is blush. This is all my highlighters and that is it. Like I have no backup or anything. Like you're going to see some primers. I have some other ones down there. Um... I do have over there on my desk, I have some eyeliners, mascaras, and lip glosses that I have on backup. But basically, in here, <laughs> that one's round, it doesn't stick anywhere. These are all of my palettes. I have cleaned them all out. I'm getting, I want to say, uh, two more in the mail. One from Menagerie Cosmetics and one's from Viseart. Um, but other than that, I am not getting more. I just got an empty palette like this um, with my gift card from Ulta, which I totally, I needed it. Instead of getting more makeup, I needed to get um, one of these so that I can keep putting Pretties for Your Face highlighters in it. Because I have that one and then this one right here, which I want to use for eyeshadows and not highlighters and blushes. So I want to get a new one of those. So that's coming also. Um, I'm on the lookout for smaller palettes I can take traveling. Like for instance, this one is one of my favorite traveling palettes. I also take this Smashbox one, but it's not really my favorite. And I'm probably going to end up taking this Ooh La La one with me, but I wanted some smaller ones that I can just take and will give me a lot of um, variety without me having to take a lot or worrying about if they're going to break or anything. So that's my palette drawer. This is my lippy drawer. Um, the The... All the spots are usually full. The ones that you see empty are actually ones I've used. And basically what I do to make sure I have rotation is I, when I use it, it goes into a little basket on my desk. And then that way I know, like, at, if I've reached a spot where I'm like, eh, I don't really feel like using that specific lipstick, that means I get rid of it. Back there you're going to see extra brushes and then a couple, like, perfume atomizers that I have. But that is basically this drawer. And this is my backup drawer, which I have really pared down. So over here I have some concealers and eyeshadow primers. I've got regular primers, face primers, setting sprays. I've got a big Peach Perfect primer because it's one of my favorites. And another setting spray, more setting sprays. I have a lot of setting sprays, so, so I'm trying them out. So then I have some powder. That's my backup. I've got a backup of the Bare Minerals. Actually, two backups of the Bare Minerals Gen Nude some lip scrubs, and that is it. I have an empty palette there from Coastal Suns. And that is all my stuff. I actually cannot believe it. I cannot believe that I have whittled down my stuff to that much. Uh, foundations I keep on my desk because it's easier that way, but I cannot, cannot believe. That's all I have now. It's New Year's Eve. We have watched a lot of 9-9, done some new traditions that we've half made up ourselves and we are waiting for the ball to drop and we're going to see Kelly Clarkson Kelly Clarkson <laughs> who is apparently in Sweden there has been no alcohol at all no. here Kelly Clarkson Corey doesn't eat alcohol Corey doesn't eat but you know what I could break some out we still have some left over from the party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here's Kelly Clarkson. Because uh, we watch it streaming on the NBC app. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. I'm tired already. I could have gone to bed about an hour ago, because I usually do, and I had to work today, so of course I'm tired, and he's been up since 6, so he's tired. And it was a truck day. Some people, they have arm day, some have leg day. I have truck day. <laughs> so I guess we'll see you next year. Or like in the next five minutes. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> hey, it is Wednesday morning, January 2nd. We did not vlog at all yesterday. We ended up watching 
a simple favor, unbreakable, and split because glass is coming out. And I had never seen Split. Um, I'd seen Unbreakable before. Um, I liked it a lot better the first time, but the second time, he it was. I realized just how slow it was. It was really, really slow with really weird camera angles. Um, Simple Favor was very topsy turvy. Um, I actually kind of liked having it with a plot that I couldn't really predict. I couldn't figure out who was actually the problem child in the story. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to glass. You're going back to work today later? Yeah, I'm going to be working at three. But in the meantime, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of artwork. Uh, for me personally, I do not want to go to work today at all. I, I'm having a very hard time motivating myself to get going this morning. Um, Yep, it happens a lot during the first of the year for me too, especially when I'm not only doing my own business. I'm just kind of like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to. Um, but uh, Corey doesn't work today, so he's going grocery shopping. Um, and then later tonight, I have, I have a lot of things to do that I kind of put off over the weekend. Um, kind of a long list, so... I don't know how how festive or fun this vlog is going to be this week. Um, I think we may have some stuff planned this weekend. I cannot remember. Next weekend, we're going to St. Augustine for Night of Lights. And then, like, a couple days after that, we're going to Volcano Bay for Corey to go since he's never gone. So we do have some things coming up. Um, we have some plans for... The coming year we still have to suss out a little bit more like going to interesting places around Orlando and places to eat to show you so like things that are not chains things that are like you know more like Orlando stuff so um we do have some interesting plans so stick with us it's coming like I said now that the new year is here the vlogs might not be as uh, frequently might not be every day, but you'll still have a video going up every week. <sighs> if I'm home and it's like 7.30, I, I basically came right home and started working on a bunch of stuff that I needed to get done that I just hadn't had time. I told my husband at 7 o'clock we would discuss dinner because he was cleaning the kitchen. And we were going to make something, and then we just got so tired, we were like, look, we just need to go get something. So he went to go get Panera so that we could have some soup and salad. Um, and in the meantime, I'm trying to, like, upload videos and, um, like, up upload information for a lot of the auction groups that I just got accepted into. And just a lot of stuff <laughs> on my list. As you can, this is my list right here on a post-it and as you can see there's only like a few things crossed off but it's an ongoing it's an ongoing thing. Um, I do want to show you though just found these at Whole Foods and the sugar count is very low and it it like totally satisfies my barbecue chip craving that I can't really have because it's well, very carby for a barbecue chip, but these are nuts. So I'm like so excited about it, but I don't even know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like this week is just so topsy turvy, <laughs> honestly, because just because of like how it was a short week, because of New Year's, and because I go to work and I feel like completely restless and like bored and stuff I just want to be home doing my own thing and my my own thing I mean doing my work not like laying on the couch doing nothing um but I spent a little bit of today just kind of like browsing trying to see what interesting things that were around Orlando that I could show you guys on the vlog so that we can kind of plan every week to show you at least one thing interesting so um I believe Sunday we are going to go to Disney Springs um because there's a Kingdom Hearts exhibit and to celebrate like the new game coming out so um we're gonna go check that out and i really wanted to go eat at one of the resorts to show you guys how you can do it economically and healthy um but their reservation system is down and i don't want to go without a reservation so i'm gonna have to figure that out 
Oh well. In the meantime, is what it is. Wednesday's almost over. Two more days to go in the work week. <sighs> yes. We're, we're trucking, guys. We're trucking. Good morning. It is Thursday, December 3rd. I'm about to get ready to go to work. Well, I'm pretty much ready to go to work. I just need to take my morning vitamins and go. <laughs> I have to make some coffee. Um, I've decided to do this new thing for 2019 um, where I am just doing like a very minimal eye look on days where I go to work. So for example, today I used one of my favorite palettes pretty much of all time. Which is really crazy. I can take it traveling with me. It is the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle. And like for today, I put the first uh, shade as a base, the second shade as a crease color, and the third shade as a lid. And just blended it all out just so that I could have something, you know, really minimal. And I want to start doing that with a lot of my palettes. And then on the weekends, when I'm out vlogging or just whatever, um, I will be kind of doing a more elaborate makeup look. Um, I will probably go back and forth between a more elaborate and and minimal throughout the year, but I, just for this year I've just been really digging having it be really minimal. Uh, on my lips I'm using Ariel from the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick Collection, which is also one of my favorite formulas for lipstick. Um, today, again, it's Thursday, so I feel like, you know, it's two days until the weekend, and I slept very poorly last night. Um, <clears throat> it was the weirdest thing because I had been having some, like, digestive issues. Um, I had tried that kombucha and have been drinking it, like, periodically over the last couple of days. I don't know if that's what it is, but it just felt like everything was moving in my stomach more than normal, and so I was very gassy, and then... Um, <laughs> When I went to bed, I was freezing, which I'm never freezing when I go to bed because it's very hot in our room and I hate it. Um, and then I woke up at like 3.30 in the morning and I was just sweaty and I'm more gassy than normal. So I don't know what is happening, but it, it caused me not to be able to sleep very well at all. Um, so that is that. I hope I make it through today without like collapsing on my desk and I hope I have some stuff to do. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good day today and I will talk to you again tonight. Happy Friday. <laughs> it's here finally. Um, last night was actually very tough for me because uh, it's gonna rain a lot today and my body was basically telling me that. I have fibromyalgia so it was like swelling and achy and stuff so when I came home I had every intention of doing things and I ended up not being able to so I just rested went to bed early so today I can actually get stuff done um I, I'm gonna come home tonight and do like some goals with Marshall and we're gonna figure some other stuff out I did want to show you uh, what I just got. I'm using it on my eyes, and it is uh, the Viseart Petit Pro. Um, I've never used anything from Viseart, so when they were on sale at Sephora, I had to get it. Um, so it's this one, and I think this is going to be the perfect palette to take with me when I travel. I have a couple like small ones. I have a Smashbox one, and I have a Too Faced one that are just... Uh, they're some of my favorite um, formulas, but also, I mean, they're just small, so I can take it with me. Um, on my lips, I'm using Tip Top from the ColourPop Luxe Lipsticks. Um, that is pretty much what is happening. Uh, we're still trying to solidify our plans for this weekend, so uh, you guys can see it on the vlog, but it should be it should be a good time, whatever, so stick with us. Happy Saturday. I didn't really vlog last night because uh, Marshall and I went to Trader Joe's and then we came home and worked on a bunch of goals and he made dinner. So we didn't really do a whole lot that was interesting. This morning, um, my husband and I cleaned out our closet and under our bed and reorganized in there, which is awesome. 
Um, I got a few other things done this morning that I needed to. It's 12.30, so it's time for lunch. So I want to show you what I'm eating. So over here we have a sprouted green bread with uh, the Trader Joe's egg salad in there. I'm supposed to be eating avocados um, pretty regularly, so I try to eat an, an avocado, and I'm just going to spoon that on top of my sandwich. Over here I have the Trader Joe's caramelized onion dip, and in I have some celery and carrots to go with my sandwich. And then the last thing... I started having kombucha, um, which I've never really had before, but I drink very, very minimally. Like, you can't see how much is in here. It's probably to there. I have drunk it three times so far, so I just drink a little just to get that really good probiotic in there. Um, so I'm drinking my kombucha for today, and that that is my lunch. My husband goes to work in a little bit so i'm just gonna be chilling out i have a movie to watch for my netflix movie club um we're watching the little mermaid this week so i have to watch that and then uh just i'm gonna take the afternoon since i got so much done just chill fill out a few things in my planner and work on my 3d painting while i watch tv and wait for marshall to get home it's saturday afternoon and i literally just spent the entire day organizing and getting stuff in a donate pile and everything, but I wanted to show you what I got in the mail. So I got the Feral palette uh, from Menagerie. It's my first time getting the Menagerie, anything from Menagerie. Um, and it, it's the updated one. So if you guys know the old palette had similar colors in this top row and so people were making a stink, but um, these pan the pans of eyeshadows are huge. I cannot wait to use that because it seems like it's gonna be really awesome. Um, so, yeah, gonna use that, and, uh, Marshall just got home from work, so we're gonna figure out what we're doing for dinner, and then continue working on our goals for this year. So I wanted to show you tonight's dinner. We made roasted Brussels sprouts and asparagus with a sausage, onion, and spinach, uh, saute. And we basically roasted the green vegetables in the oven. Tossed it with some garlic salt and some salt and pepper and olive oil. 